All right, I'm back. Hi. Whew. Man, we have so much we can talk about tonight, too. We were only talking about Pokemon. I have so many different topics I could talk about tonight while we're playing TF2. I mean, obviously, starting with the fact that TF2 got a big update in 2023. I need you guys to understand, this is the first big TF2 update that is not Smithmas or Halloween since 2017. I have been waiting, like, nearly, like, six years for this. Hold on, if TF2 is gonna have music. Like, this is... This is, like, crazy to me. And second off, Valve is kind of underplayed a little bit, like, how big this update is. They've said, like, oh, it's as big as, like, a seasonal update. And, like, you could kind of argue that. Here's the thing that tips it over the edge for me. And, like, it's funny because we can't actually play it right now. Because it's, like, broken. But versus Saxton Hale, which is no longer pickable. <laughs> they had to remove it from the servers for a bit. But that's, like, a real game mode in the game now. That's crazy. That has been an unofficial TF2 mode for, like, over 10 years. And, like, they just randomly in this update, they're like, yeah, it's official now. It would be nice if they could get it to fucking work, but it's official now. And that's, like, that's crazy to me. You know? Oh, I should say in the uh, Discord that we switched to TF2. Whoops. Um... But yeah, this is like... Like, at the end of the day, is it that much bigger than, like, a seasonal update? Probably not. But also, it kinda is, because again, like, versus Saxton Hale being official is crazy. That's like, that's big. I think. Bro, they got Capture the Flag in this. Come on. Oh, this is a good one. Capture the Flag maps are usually either bad or they take a million years to play. Damn, my TF too loud as fuck. Uh oh. Who's cheating? Yeah, how you guys doing? How you guys doing? Victory. Oh, we won. Horse has 47 points. Bro was sniping like his life depended on it. <laughs> Alright. Summer event runs all the way until September 2. That's dope. I think really the only thing I would say is missing to make this like a big major update is, like, they should have made new contracts, finally. We've been doing the Jungle Inferno contracts for, like, six years. And granted, I haven't finished them all. I don't know if I ever will, because I don't know if I give a shit at this point. So it'd just kind of be nice to have, like, a new round of contracts. I mean, there's, like, a good amount of maps that they could do it for, too. So, I don't know. I think it's Valve being a little lazy on that front. That's, like, the only, like, major thing I would say is, like, missing, though. Pretty pumped for TF2? Hell yeah. I am, too! My plague doctor medic. If 
I play medic, can I use the quick fix? Um... I would be losing Uber, which is, like, a little scary. I feel like Uber is quite good. I guess I'll see how the team does, and see if I could switch to quick fix. Because it's like, the quick fix isn't bad, strictly. I feel like he's kind of just outclassed by, like, the regular medigun. And the crits creed. Honestly, I should probably be using, like, the crits creed more. But I'm always just like, dude, but the medigun, though? But the uber, though? I immediately got backstabbed. We don't even have a heavy anymore. We have three snipers. That is probably not the wise move to make after switching from uh, from getting backstabbed, but that's fine. It's okay, I'm doing okay as heavy. Although maybe I should have switched to the payload gun. I mean, regular minigun is fine. Ow. Yeah, but I, I would have really liked to at least set him on fire and make him upset. Yeah, let's search the payload gun. <laughs> I pretty much exclusively only like playing heavy on offense on payload with the Hulong heater. That's like it. I don't know, I'm not good enough at heavy. And heavy gets, like, hard countered by such, like, specific things that, like... It's TF2, they're probably gonna happen. Oh! But yeah, payload gun is fun. I like it. I also just realized I never, like took down the selfies I posted to Tumblr. And I was recently thinking, like, why do I care so much if, like, my selfies stay public online? And I was thinking about it, and the answer was, oh, well, what if a future employer, like, sees it? And then I thought about that, and I was like, well, I keep my online stuff away from my professional life to begin with. And also, like, I think that there would be a million more reasons than, uh, like, kind of saucy pictures of me online for uh, a future employer to get upset about. Like, the fact that I run a Twitch stream where I just say fuck a lot and shit and piss and I talk about how uh, companies suck. Which is not a good thing for a company to hear, you know? So honestly, I might just keep it online. I think an employer should simply not violate your privacy. So true. So true. Like, honestly, genuinely. And it's, like, also one of those things where, like, I think, like, Tumblr is, like, under the radar enough of a lot of companies that it probably wouldn't, like, matter. Although, honestly, I did think about it. And I was like, man. Well, here's what I could do. Like, once I do transition, like... I'll just find another name. Like, I, I've really attached myself to Morgan, but I could just use another name to give to an employer. So, like, then, like, what the fuck are they gonna do? You know, you have to adapt. You have to adapt. That is a senti gun. <laughs> we still have three snipers and no medic. We need a medic so bad. But I don't want to switch to medic. I want to shoot people with my big gun. I want to hurt people so bad, but also we're never going to get past this sentry like this.
But yeah, again, I like thought about it, and I'm like, well, I keep my private life, or my online life away from my professional life, so who gives a shit? Who actually gives a shit? God, uncharitable Q long heater. Let's go. Yo, we need a medic so bad. I don't want to switch. Can one of the snipers switch? They should. Uh, one of the snipers should be so kind and switch to medic, so I don't have to. Cause I don't want to be medic. I want to shoot people with a big gun. Medic! Guys. Guys. I think it was one of the snipers, too. Oh my god. That's so nice. That's honestly the kindness. You know, be fucking kind. Also, I just realized I need to change the category to TF2. It is kind of funny that the Hulong heater was designed to, like, make it so Spy doesn't hurt, Heavy is bad, because, you know, you got the flames around you and it's kind of like a Spy checking tool a little bit. But it's also, like, Spy has adapted to the point where they could just, like, jump over the flames. I still think when you're playing on Payload, like, it's quite fucking good, because, like, anybody gets too close and they will be hurt. And you've got so much ammo because you're just constantly getting it from the payload cart. But it's also like, basically in any other scenario, the Hulong heater is ass. It is just not good, strictly speaking. But yeah, this game got a big update. We also had like... Uh, Limited Run Games did, like, a presentation today, and, you know, I didn't tune in because I was like, man, it's Limited Run Games, like, fucking whatever. And then they accidentally, like, revived, like, a shit ton of, like, old IPs that's actually, like, kinda cool and kinda dope, and even announced, like, some really cool-looking games. Oh. Like, for one thing, the thing that unironically looks fantastic is that someone made a Zelda CDI spiritual successor. And it looks, like, fun to play. It has, like, the corny-looking animations. They're, they're, like, very lovingly crafted to, like, look like those old Zelda CDI games. Yeah, no, it, 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 I think it's called, like, Arzest or something. I'd have to, I'd have to look into it again. But it, like, it's, like, really cool looking, actually. And it's, like, kind of cool that we're at a point where people are making, like, unironic, like, tributes to, like, the Zelda CDI games in indie game form. I think that is, like, genuinely so cool. That was probably the announcement. Yeah, hold on. I could send that in the Discord. I have to find the Wario64 tweet. That's like the easiest way for me to find anything, is that I find it on Wario64. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna send that tweet in, uh... It's Arzet, the Jewel of Pharaohmore. From what I heard, and I don't know if this is true, apparently this was also made by the same team who did the Zelda CDI remasters a while back. So it's like dudes who are like very familiar with the game too. Again, I think it's gonna be cool. 
It genuinely looks like it could be, like, a really cool, like, fun experience. And, of course, we can't deny that, I mean, if the writing is fun, we could get some awesome YouTube poop material from it. But, yeah, that was cool. A random announcement that I don't necessarily care about that much, but I also think is kind of funny, is that... They're finishing the Shantae GBA game that I didn't know existed. And they're just making that, and they're gonna actually release it on a GBA cartridge. And then probably port it later, but... That's like... It's like... I have been, like, very down on Limited Run, like, recently. Especially because Limited Run's, like, business model has always been dumb. And pretty much everybody agrees that it's dumb. But, like... Fuck, man. Their, like, Limited Run Games Fake E3 conference was actually cool. They're bringing back Tomba. They're bringing back Gex. Which... The, the, the thing that, like, rocked my world most about them saying, Yeah, we're re-releasing the Gex trilogy. Which I honestly might check out. If they're, like, decently, like, okay, like, platformers, then, like, why the fuck not? I know, like, Gex is, like, a joke online, but that's because he makes pop culture references. So he was always gonna be, like, seen as a little lame, but he might be, like, endearingly lame in, like, the modern age, where we hear him make a joke that's like, Man, this is like Robin Williams and Aladdin! And we're like, ah oh, ha he's referencing a movie from the 90s, he's so quirky. But that's cool. Tomba is like... I don't know a lot about Tomba. But that seems like that could be cool. That's getting like a... I don't know if it was a remaster or a remake. Or even just like a new game completely. I'm not sure. But it could be cool. It could be cool. Conker makes pop culture references and that's beloved. Well, Conker also says swears, which Gex doesn't. Gex isn't allowed to swear. Nor would I let him. Dude, this has got, like, unique, like, symbols for the, uh, the teams. I love deleting guys from the video game. Nothing more satisfying than hitting three pipes in a row and deleting a heavy from the video game. Honestly, you could probably expect me to play TF2 again tomorrow. I'm gonna be so real. We might have like a TF2 Mario Kart variety hour. I know I've been doing a lot of variety hours and I don't mean to ignore the playthroughs that we have ongoing. It's just that, I don't know, they're fun. And I also wanted to have a variety night open uh, so that we could do draft stuff. And that was a very wise decision because it lasted really long. <laughs> Like, I think if I did the draft, like, team reviews on, like, a day where I had to, like, start at, like, 8 o'clock, I would have been over. I actually, like, honestly could have started sooner, but one, I wasn't expecting draft to, to like, take so long, and also I was talking with Jen. Alright. You understand. In the end, my, my dearest comes first in the world.
Thank you, spy. I've got to get the fuck out of here. I gotta get good at TF2 again, man. It's been too long. He'll drink some peach iced tea to that? Hell yeah. Yeah. I love Demo Man. I think that, like, in my adulthood, Demo Man might be my favorite class to play. The, like, base grenade launcher and sticky bomb launcher are just, like, too good to deny. Like, look at that. Get a crit and immediately delete a heavy from the video game. Oh! I should have just hit him with a bomb. <laughs> but I thought it would be funnier to hit him with a pan. Well, now that Homeless Guy's crap works properly, I think we can switch to that. Homeless guy eats crap is, is strictly the same as the frying pan, but it boosts morale. Because it reminds us of a funny video. Noise. Oh, that heavy could have scared me. Nope. You're probably the only one with that emote. Probably, but that's okay. It means you have a generous soul. And you would have given you would have given him some fudge. And he would have been like, hi man, I like fudge. Noise. You would've taken him to the fudge factory? Hell yeah. Man, now I want some fudge. We did good! I'll, I'll even take a fourth place on the leaderboard. I'll take it. I would've liked top three, but I gotta relearn TF2 a bit. This, this second half of the year is gonna be like... It's gonna be called the Variety Hour, and then every time it's just gonna be TF2 and Mario Kart. You guys are gonna have to deal with so many TF2 and Mario Kart streams. I hope you're prepared. Oh, that's okay. I'll try and sprinkle in other random stuff. I've been enjoying playing the Mega Man game, so I'll probably play Mega Man 3 at some point. Although that might be the longest one, so... Like, I do not know. Like, that might be its own stream, honestly. It's also nice to do a longer stream. I've been doing a lot of shorter streams recently. It's nice to do a long stream tonight. Mario Kart is gonna be especially fun. I mean, I love TF2, but... I've been doing, like, I've been, I've been doing kind of gamer at Mario Kart. Although I wasn't playing it that well when we were doing draft review, because the whole time I was thinking, like, fuck, I really should be focusing on the draft review. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that was probably one, like, out of all the streams I've done, maybe the least I've talked was the draft review. Are they actually in our spawn? How the fuck did they get in our spawn? <gasps> did you guys see that shit? What the fuck? Oh, actually, if I die again, maybe I'll switch to heavy and go payload gun. It's time. You know what fucking time it is, baby. Get funny TF2. Oh, that's a pretty good cosmetic for Demo Man. Nope. Yeah, how the fuck are they getting in our spawn? I can see the, like, stop sign. Man, 
I hit that soldier with one bullet and then I couldn't hit him again. Nope. <laughs> I'm making this spy miserable, probably. Let's go. Domination. Man, Lazy Purple was so right. When you're playing Heavy and you're winning, it's so fun. And then when you're losing, like, Heavy is the most, like, dog shit, least good feeling class ever. But right now I'm winning, so it's awesome. This is an interesting map, also. A map that kind of, like, twists and turns around on payload is unusual. It's kind of cool. I see that spy coming around. Oh! There he is. Well, that's a different spy. I know the other spy's name, I just refuse to say it out loud. This is another thing where I just switch back to homeless guy eats crap. Basically, if you're ever playing the heavy, though, and you need to use your melee weapon, like... Either you're, like, doing a funny with the punching gloves of killing, or you're, like, you did something wrong. The running glove, the gloves of running urgently used to be quite good. I used to run that shit a lot back in the day. Why'd you start laughing? You would have survived if you didn't start laughing at me. Come on. Grow up. These these spies are, like, trying to mock me, but little did they know, uh, I'm quite cool. Honestly, hold on. I'm gonna eat a sandwich. This map does have a lot of trick stab potential, though. To be fair, I can't blame these guys for all going spy. Nope. We're doing good, we're doing good. Nope. Again, the spies think I'm like such a such an easy target for them. But they're wrong. I'm gonna say that and then I'm gonna immediately get backstabbed and it'll be really funny and I'll get on R slash streamer fails. Nope. <laughs> There we go. It took them a while. I, I knocked out a lot of spies before one of them was actually able to backstab me. Man, I don't play heavy at all if that's the most I've ever healed is heavy. Been doing well, thank you. I mean, I'm at the top of the leaderboard, which like, that's rare these days. That's fucking rare. I gotta focus on the guy in front of me. Engineer, be careful. Nope. 
noise. I really shouldn't have turned around, but I was so scared of the spy. I really shouldn't have turned around. <laughs> but now I'm like paranoid of the spies. Guys, it's okay. Okay. Let's make a push. Again, I'm going a little crazy with the spy checking. I keep getting scared as fuck. Just focus on the fight in front of you, and if my team can't spy check, that's on them and not me. Oh my god. With the 20 points above anyone else? Are you serious? Dude. That's one for the books. Holy shit, that feels nice. Yeah, that was a that was an incredible game for me. I feel quite good about that. I'm trying to get Jack in a box, brother. <laughs> I feel like before this stream, I, like, had, like, so many topics in my mind that I wanted to talk about, and I've already forgotten them all. I just remembered, like, limited run game shit. And, like, uh, the fact that I didn't, like, auto-delete my selfies, and that's, like, it. That's all I remember. Rotunda. Uh, King of the Hill, so we will not be reprising our role as heavy. Although, maybe we will, though. I'm kind of playing good as heavy. Maybe we will, though. He's kind of a big, strong dude. How much better our Q-Long heater is? Item? The case? No, it's Holiday Punch. Me and this medic are gonna be buddies. Where'd everybody go? <laughs> what the fuck is this team balancing? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this is kind of fucked up. Okay, no, they're they're all starting to pile in, but like a little late. This seems like a little fucked up of a fight to make the blue team fight currently. I don't even know where the fuck you go on this map. Oh! Noise. We gotta be careful of that spy. It's always about those damn spies. Yeah, Engineer, you do not want to fight a uh, big boy heavy like me. 
I am the fucking strong. Hey. Oh, okay. I saw a heavy with an unusual, and I was like, wait a minute. That is quite a good loadout. Yeah, I gotta be careful of this, this spy around. Maybe I should switch. We, we got another, like, really good heavy. I could probably afford to switch. Maybe I'll go, like, Engineer. Do I wanna go Gunslinger? I feel like Gunslinger is safer on King of the Hill. Cause, like, building a big boy sentry is like, man, does the round even last long enough? for you to need that shit. I'm gonna spend all that time building and then not even use it because you couldn't build it in time. Nope. Oh. I got a couple people at least. I like to think I helped out. Maybe it would be funny to build a big boy sentry with the jag, though. Like, honestly, like, it's dumb, but it could be funny. And you know what? We did just lose the point, so fuck it. I think it is wise to build a teleporter and a spot where they're not necessarily gonna find it right away, but is relatively close to where we need to go. I saw you, Demo Man. Again, this is quite silly. This is a little bit of a silly sentry, but that's okay. Sometimes you gotta go a little, uh, foolish with it. Oh, that spy is gonna be after my ass so bad now. Nope. Get you. Let me actually upgrade my tally. I feel like that's probably the most useful thing I can do, is upgrade the tally. next round we'll just hang out with the jag that could be fun i love the jag i think it might straight up just be the best wrench i pretty much never run stock wrench at this point because like it repairs building slower which does suck a little bit but like in very fast paced games that kind of doesn't matter because you can just keep you can just keep putting up a sentry and they're gonna be really upset about it I forgot to put a telly at spawn. That might be. Oh, let's let's start building it here. Again, I think I think the wise move is to start building our telly. Maybe I should put it over there. It seems that's where the team like exits from. It's probably quicker too. Yeah, I'm just gonna build this real quick. Oh, 
Uh oh. Someone's trying to kill it. Please stop the bad men from trying to kill my telly. Is the metal. I thought there was like metal over here. There is. It respawned. I would like to build a dispenser. Just because at the very least if the dispenser is out of the way, uh, that'll be generally useful. Oh! Medic, don't be fooled. He has a dead ringer. Medic, be fucking careful. Oof. Blue is definitely playing harder this time. They're going, they're going crazier. Though I think if I can get this to level 2... Oh yeah, this puts us in a much better position already. Oh god, I got stuck. Yeah, I'm gonna build level 3 dispenser. Since I think, I think our sentry at the end of the day is our most expendable building. We can just keep building that every time it gets killed. Hey. Nope. Fucker. I got him in the end. It got me killed, but... I mean, I feel quite good about getting my revenge. I really hope someone else doesn't take out my dispenser while I'm away. Please? You bitch. At least my sentry is being a little bit of a nuisance right now. Get them away from the telly, no! <laughs> oh. I appreciate you helping out, other engineer. You tried your best. Alright, let's get to work. Blue is making us work hard for this second victory. I can't even switch classes because I know the telly is helping out. And like realistically, if my team loses the telly for me to go like some random offense class, we lose. I, I think we need the telly.
Well, now we don't have it anymore. Shit. Um, this might not be a good idea. This might not be a good idea. I might have had to settle for a level one telly. I think this is a bad idea that I just did. Oh. <laughs> With all the spies around too, it is so much harder to do my job as engineer. It's okay, we'll keep trying anyways. When all else fell, fails, do it again. Never learn your lesson. <laughs> I do think the telly was good, though. I, I, I think it's just one of those things where... We have to... Yeah, maybe a different teleporter spot. The problem is, there's not a whole lot of other good ones. I guess I'll hide it here. I think this is the best compromise of keeping it out of the way enough that maybe they won't be able to push us all the way back here. I think maybe I do want to switch to Gunslinger. I feel like... I don't know. I mean, the the Jag is funny. But I, I, I think realistically, we gotta go Gunslinger. Yeah, if the Sentry is gonna be too exposed, I, I think, like, the Mini Sentry is the best we can do. I think that's the best compromise. Because, like, it's exposed, but it also, like, shoots people a lot. Like, it is... A good, it is a good sentry spot offensively, it is not a good sentry spot defensively. of slapping. Well, it's more like a punch than a slap, to be fair. Man, I've been playing this game for over 10 years. I remember when you couldn't repair mini sentries. That's, like, kind of wild to be like, man, I really have been playing that long, huh? Thank you. Thank you, Brave Scout. I'm the most... I'm the craziest engineer that ever lived. I stood up to a heavy and I won. Honestly, just build the senti here. Again, I think no matter what, just because of how big this map is, the sentry is always going to be exposed. So it's just a matter of trying to get it in like a big enough range where it'll like shoot some guys for me and then die. I definitely think switching to Gunslinger instead of the Jag was a genius move. God, I'm thinking of everything in terms of, like,
competitive Pokemon right now. I'm like, oh, this is like a really good offensive tool. This is a really good defensive tool. Oh. I wanted to get that spy so bad. I just need the spy to not discover my teleporter spot. Then we'll be okay. Once the spy gets our teleporter spot, it's Jover. I do quite miss my dispenser, but... You know, love hurts. Love hurts sometimes. Oh. Noise. Come on, team. Let's get this shit. Fuck, yes. Oh no. Not the spy getting my mini senti. I'll never recover. Honestly, I'm gonna go crazy. I'm building the dispenser on the control point. This is awesome. Why oh, is this kind of good, though? Look at third. Pretty good engineer performance. Not bad. Not bad at all. I've been going ham. I really have. It's like my full TF2 powers are being unleashed tonight. I feel like I haven't played TF2 this good on stream, like, basically ever. And I still feel like I'm pretty rusty, to be honest. But I'm just, I'm going crazy with it. You know, I'm doing- I'm doing the task that needs to be done. Yeah, honestly, I think I'm probably just streaming TF2 again tomorrow. Sorry, Fire Emblem and Psychonauts, you're gonna have to wait a bit longer. <laughs> it's okay, I have, like, really, like... I, I- I do not work super late from work, so you can probably expect those closer to the weekend. But tomorrow we'll probably play some TF2. If I get tired of TF2, we'll play some Mario Kart. It could be fun. It could be fun. It's good to savor the fleeting moments of TF2. Very true. Very true. Uh, let's go back to Heavy Payload Gun. These seem to be my guys right now. It's crazy. I, I mean, I was playing good as Demo Man, to be fair. But Heavy and Engineer seem to be my guys right now. I guess what it comes down to is that the defense classes in TF2 are just fun as fuck. I mean, it probably helps also. That this is, like, the ni the nicest TF2 has ever looked on my stream. I mean, we got an up bitrate, and also I can play with max graphics. I don't have to play it in, like, a shitty, like, crunched-up format. It's just TF2. It looks good. It looks nice. It's dope. Again, I would love for people to compare, like, recent TF2 streams to the first TF2 streams I did on this, like, stream. That shit was so crunchy and the frame rate was so bad, and I did it anyways because I just love TF2 that much. I kept playing it through, like, the game, like, being kinda shitty to play, just because I love TF2 that much. 
That's like definitely top three video games for me. It's like this Pokemon Emerald and Super Mario World are like the like my favoriteest games ever. And it's like not even close. I think like every other video game has to try very hard to live up to these like those three specific games. Is the medic not coming with me? Is he not gonna help me push the cart? I mean, we're kind of doing okay anyways. Oh. I got killed by a scout, though. That's embarrassing. Again, I got a, I got a spy check. We got a couple of good spies here. We got this scout who's really on my ass. Ow! I got snipe. Yeah, this is not as good as a heavy game. I'm still top of the leaderboard though because uh, I don't know if you know this about payload. But if you, if you actually push the payload when you're playing the payload game mode, it'll actually give you points because the game's like, yeah, that's what you're supposed to be doing. Good job. Not this fucking goober again. Oh! I forgot that the Ambassador is just a free headshot revolver. But I know they nerfed it at some point, but I don't remember how they did. I had, like, no team support. <laughs> My team's all chilling in the back. I was the only trooper on the front lines. No. Come on. Grow up. It's like that same scout again. Oh! No, I didn't drop it in dirt. Grow up. The soldier is rotating. going as smoothly as the other matches. This is actually quite a bad round for the big heavy man. I mean, it means Red is doing a really good job of defending. But again, Lazy Purple's heavy theorem comes into play. When you're winning as heavy, it's great. When, it's, when you're not, it fucking sucks. 
Oh, that's okay. We're not losing that bad. In fact, we're starting to make a push again, which is good. And it feels like it's kind of hard for Red to defend this specific hill. I feel like once you start going down it, like, you're gonna go far. Noise. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> what was this Pyro doing? What was he cooking? Gotta watch my back to make sure I don't get backstabbed randomly. Okay, it's going better. It's going better. Now that we've started pushing again, we're doing alright. Yeah, Heavy is having so much fun. This is the most he's been allowed to shoot his gun in weeks. Thank you for the Jurati sniper. You are our most valued ally. Pyro, you knock that shit off. <laughs> this one Pyro. Get out of here. He was having the time of his life hitting us with the Scorch shot over and over. This dude. Ow. Yeah, I should have figured. That's okay. Dude, you can wear the hot dog hat, but like the robot version. Again, we're doing quite well as heavy. This is great, man. This is wonderful. Nice. Demo man, you're my realest friend. Ow! Yeah, again, in practice, the Hulong heater is not a real, sp uh, like, spy counter at all. <laughs> but it's funny. And it works quite well for payload. Oh, he woke up. Guys, it's okay. He he noticed that he had... He was on stream. Have actually gotten a few spy kills with the fire. Well, I've definitely gotten damage with it. But for the most part... For the most part, I feel like it's not strictly a spy counter. Ow. They're bumping up the defense. It would be kind of nice if we had our own NG to build a teleporter. Because I feel like this is a long stretch of land to have to go to get back to the cart. And at the very least, like, around C, a telly in, like, a sentry would be nice. I'm about to ruin this sniper's whole day. Never mind. <laughs> I 
I did not, in fact, ruin his whole day. We have 10 minutes to do this. If we can't push this cart in 10 minutes, we are fucked. As a team. It's just not gonna work out. Dude, the Crockets have been going crazy. Especially a Crockett from the direct hit, like fuck's sake, dude. I mean, we're pretty close. Honestly, I think we can do it. Again, I think like the one thing I'm missing is that I kinda do wish we had an engineer with a teleporter because this is a long stretch to have to go. And what if we get backstabbed? Well, I set that dude on fire, at least. Yeah, I couldn't tell you either. It'd be quite fucking sad. I think. Okay, you're a friend. You're a friend and a confidant. What is this poppin'? <laughs> yeah, I gotta be honest. We have another heavy. I'm gonna try and build a telly. I, I think we really could use a telly right now. And if we have another heavy, like, that dude will probably be, like, I don't know, probably a heavier hitter than me. go all the way back here to get metal. You know what, though? You know what, though? Let's be fucking smart. Let's upgrade the tally. Oh, never mind. We won. GG, <laughs> for real. Well, I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest, I'm a little tired. I think my juice for the night is done. But we'll definitely play more TF2 tomorrow. Maybe I'll even get a couple friends on board and we'll play TF2. But I'm liking the update so far. I think the new maps are cool. I hope I actually get to play Saxton Hale soon. Um, but... That's going to be it for tonight's stream. I want to thank you all for coming. Hope you all have a good night and take care. Yeah, I'm probably just going to do TF2 again tomorrow. If I'm being real. And then, I don't know. You can expect Fire Emblem and Psychonauts soon. I won't delay those for too much longer. But doing random variety stuff has been fun. I think it's been a good change of pace. Is just doing random variety stuff. Um, but yeah. Have a good night, everybody. Take care.